gentlemen. On behalf of the Melbourne City Loyal Rangers Supporters Club, I'd like to thank you for coming out today to remember the poor 66 souls that lost their lives on the 2nd of January 1971. Looking around here today, I can see there's a few faces that were actually at the game on that tragic day. Uh, you should never, ever, ever forget, always remember. No one should go to a football match and never return home, lest we forget. I don't know if Shuggy, Shuggy's going to read the passage from the Bible. This is from Psalms 95, verses 6, 7 and 8. Oh come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will, hear his voice. Harden not your heart as in the provocation, and as, in, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Amen. 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 I have been lucky, lucky in those who were around me from the boardroom to the dressing room. In a time of stress, their unstinted support, unbroken devotion to our club, and calmness in adversity eased the task of making Rangers FC the premier club in this country. To be a Ranger is to sense the sacred trust of upholding that all such a name means in the shrine of football. They must be true in their conception of what the Ibrox tradition seeks from them. No, no true Ranger has ever failed in the tradition set him. Our very success, gained, you will agree by skill, will draw more people than ever to see it, and that will benefit many more clubs than Rangers. Let the others come after us. We welcome the chase. It helps, it's healthy for us. We will never hide from it, never fear. Inevitably, we shall have our years of failure, and when they arrive, we shall reveal tolerance and sanity. No matter the days of anxiety that come our way, we shall emerge stronger because of the trials to be overcome. That has been the philosophy of the Rangers since the days of the gallant pioneers.